The Night Doorbell Presenting The Devil Show This suspense horror story's title is Blood Moon Manor. Deep in the heart of the mist-shrouded woods stood Blood Moon Manor, a decaying mansion with a history steeped in darkness. The locals whispered of the cursed family that had once inhabited its rotting halls point one fateful night, as the blood moon cast an eerie crimson glow over the land, a group of adventurous souls decided to explore the manor's secrets. Armed with flashlights and trembling courage, they ventured into the creaking, cobweb-laden interior, the air grew colder with each step, and sinister whispers seemed to emanate from the very walls themselves. As they delved deeper, portraits of the cursed family members watched with malevolent eyes, and ghostly apparitions began to materialize in the moonlight, their heartbeats quickened, and fear clawed at their souls as they uncovered a hidden chamber, adorned with sacrificial symbols and a sinister altar. In the center of the room lay an ancient tome, its pages filled with incantations that promised unspeakable power, with trembling hands, one of the group members decided to recite the incantation. The words hung heavy in the air as the blood moon's light intensified, casting ominous shadows. Suddenly, the manor itself seemed to awaken, unleashing a horde of vengeful spirits, terrified and trapped, they tried to flee, but the manor's malevolence wouldn't let them escape. Room after room twisted into nightmarish versions of reality, and the cursed family's vengeful souls closed in that I in the years that followed, Blood Moon Manor became a macabre legend, whispered about in hushed tones. It drew the curious and the foolish alike, all seeking to uncover its dark mysteries, unaware of the malevolent force that awaited within, rumors of those who entered the manor and never returned spread like wildfire through the town. Families forbade their children from venturing near, and the bravest souls dared not approach its foreboding gates, but one fateful night, a determined paranormal investigator named Sarah, fueled by a desire to unravel the truth, decided to confront the sinister secrets of Blood Moon Manor. Armed with an array of advanced equipment and a steadfast resolve, she ventured into the accursed mansion the moment Sarah crossed the threshold, the atmosphere grew heavy with dread. Unseen eyes followed her every move, and the temperature plummeted. The very walls seemed to pulsate with a malevolent energy, Sarah pressed on, determined to document the paranormal phenomena that plagued the manor. She captured eerie EVPs, spectral apparitions, and glimpses of the tormented family's past, all while the blood moon loomed ominously outside that as the night wore on, Sarah's resolve began to waver. Whispers echoed through the corridors, taunting her with promises of unimaginable power if she were to recite the forbidden incantation. But Sarah knew the risks all too well and resisted the temptation that I end the darkest hour before dawn, she uncovered a hidden passage leading deep underground. There, she stumbled upon a chamber filled with cursed artifacts, each radiating an unholy aura. It was in this chamber that she discovered the diary of the cursed family's matriarch, revealing a tragic tale of greed, betrayal, and a desperate pact made under the blood moon's influence. As Sarah read the diary's final pages, the very foundations of Blood Moon Manor trembled. The malevolent force that had tormented the cursed family and countless souls over the centuries was unleashed with a furious vengeance. Sarah's desperate escape led her through a gauntlet of horrors, but with sheer determination and a burning will to survive, she made it out just as the sun began to rise. Blood Moon Manor crumbled behind her, consumed by the same darkness that had plagued it for generations, years past and Sarah's harrowing encounter with Blood Moon Manor had left her forever changed. She had become a renowned expert in the field of paranormal investigation, dedicating her life to understanding the forces of darkness that had nearly consumed her, her experience had also drawn the attention of those who sought to confront the supernatural. Paranormal enthusiasts and investigators from around the world descended upon the town, 
each hoping to unlock the mysteries of Blood Moon Manor. As the legend of the manor spread, documentaries were made, books were written, and countless investigations were conducted, all in an attempt to uncover the malevolent secrets that had lurked within its decaying walls. Some sought answers, while others hoped to harness the dark power that had been glimpsed during that fateful night, yet, Blood Moon Manor remained an enigma. Those who dared to enter faced horrors beyond imagination, and many were never seen again. The town's economy became intertwined with the manor's legend, as it drew tourists and thrill-seekers willing to pay for a chance to glimpse the supernatural over time, the manor itself seemed to gain a life of its own, as if it fed on the fear and fascination it inspired. The Blood Moon, which appeared over the manor once every few years, intensified its malevolent influence, making each visit more perilous than the last, Sarah, now a seasoned investigator, continued to study the manor from a distance, warning those who dared to enter of the risks they faced. She knew that the secrets of Blood Moon Manor could never truly be unlocked, for its darkness was as infinite as the night sky, the town's residents, haunted by the legacy of the manor, lived in its shadow, forever aware of the horrors that lurked just beyond their borders. Blood Moon Manor had become a timeless embodiment of fear and fascination, a place where the supernatural and the earthly converged in a dance of darkness that defied explanation, generations passed, and Blood Moon Manor's eerie reputation persisted, becoming an enduring part of the town's identity. It was as if the manor had woven itself into the fabric of the community, casting a long, ominous shadow over the town's history, Sarah, now in her twilight years, remained the keeper of the manor's chilling tales. She had seen countless individuals come and go, each with their own reasons for seeking the truth behind the legend. Some were driven by curiosity, while others believed they could conquer the darkness that clung to the mansion, the town had prospered from the influx of tourists, establishing an eerie tourism industry around the manor's legend. Local businesses sold Blood Moon Manor merchandise, and guided tours of the surrounding woods promised glimpses of the supernatural. Yet, beneath the veneer of commerce, the townsfolk never forgot the true nature of the manor. Point one fateful evening, as the town prepared for the impending return of the Blood Moon, a group of thrill seekers arrived, boasting of their intent to spend the night within Blood Moon Manor itself. They were armed with an array of high-tech equipment, determined to capture undeniable proof of the paranormal, Sarah, concerned for their safety, tried to dissuade them, recounting her own terrifying experience. But their enthusiasm was unshaken. They had seen the documentaries, read the books, and believed they were prepared for whatever horrors the manor held. As the blood moon rose over the horizon, casting a crimson glow that bathed the manor in an eerie light, the group entered the mansion. Sarah watched, her heart heavy with foreboding, as they disappeared into the darkness, hours passed, and the town was wrapped in an unnatural stillness. The manor seemed to hold its breath, as if awaiting the outcome of this latest intrusion. And then, a deafening silence descended upon Blood Moon Manor, when morning arrived, the group of thrill-seekers was nowhere to be found. A pervasive sense of dread gripped the town as the manor stood silent, its secrets once again eluding those who had dared to challenge its malevolence. The disappearance of the thrill-seekers sent shockwaves through the town, reigniting the fear that had long been associated with Blood Moon Manor. Families once again warned their children to stay away, and the townsfolk grew even more wary of the cursed mansion that had become an ever-present, malevolent force. News of the group's vanishing reached the outside world, drawing the attention of investigators, journalists, and skeptics alike. The legend of Blood Moon Manor had transcended the boundaries of the town, and the world watched with a mix of fascination and trepidation, while some dismissed the disappearances as mere urban legend, 
others felt compelled to delve deeper into the mysteries that shrouded the manor. A renowned paranormal investigator named Professor David Thornton arrived with a team of experts, determined to unravel the enigma of Blood Moon Manor once and for all. Sarah, now an elder stateswoman of the paranormal community, agreed to assist Professor Thornton, sharing her knowledge and experiences in the hopes that her wisdom could prevent further tragedies. As the next Blood Moon approached, the investigative team entered the manor, armed with cutting-edge technology and a meticulous plan to document every aspect of their stay. They were determined not to succumb to the same fate as those who had ventured before them, night after night, the investigators experienced chilling phenomena, apparitions, disembodied voices, and unexplained cold spots. Each encounter was meticulously recorded, and Professor Thornton grew increasingly convinced that there was something more to Blood Moon Manor than mere superstition. As the climactic night of the Blood Moon arrived, the investigators gathered in the heart of the mansion, armed with the knowledge they had gathered and a determination to confront whatever malevolent force lay within. Professor Thornton, echoing Sarah's warning, resisted the temptation to recite the forbidden incantation, with the blood moon casting its eerie glow upon them, they initiated a daring experiment, attempting to communicate with the spirits that were said to haunt the manor. What they discovered was beyond anything they had ever imagined, the spirits, tormented and trapped by a centuries-old curse, longed for release. Their tragic story of betrayal and dark pacts with otherworldly entities unfolded, revealing the origin of Blood Moon Manor's curse. The investigators realized that the key to breaking the curse lay in confronting the darkness of the past and making amends for the sins that had condemned the mansion's inhabitants. With the blood moon waning, the investigators performed a ritual of cleansing and redemption, releasing the spirits from their eternal torment. As the last echo of the incantation faded, the manor seemed to sigh in relief, its malevolence dissipating like a dissipating mist, blood moon manor once a place of fear and dread, was finally free from its curse. It stood as a solemn monument to the power of redemption and the enduring capacity for darkness within the human soul that I and the wake of the investigator's success in freeing Blood Moon Manor from its malevolent curse, the town experienced a renewed sense of peace. The chilling legends that had haunted generations were slowly replaced with stories of redemption and hope, the manor itself underwent a transformation. Its decaying facade began to crumble further, but there was an air of serenity that now surrounded it. No longer did it radiate an aura of dread and despair. Instead, it stood as a solemn reminder of the darkness that could be overcome, Sarah, having played a pivotal role in the resolution of the manor's curse, found a sense of closure she had long sought. She continued her work in the paranormal field, but her focus shifted toward helping others confront and understand the supernatural with wisdom and caution. Professor David Thornton's reputation as a leading paranormal investigator grew, and he penned a book chronicling the events at Blood Moon Manor, not as a tale of horror, but as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, the town, once divided by fear and fascination, came together to honor the memory of those who had been lost to the manor's darkness. A memorial was erected in the town square, bearing the names of those who had ventured into the manor and never returned, a solemn tribute to the lessons learned from their sacrifice over time the town's economy shifted away from the tourism that had once thrived on the manor's legend. Instead, it embraced a new identity, one that celebrated the strength of community and the power of redemption. As the years passed, the Blood Moon continued to rise and fall over Blood Moon Manor, but it held no more malevolent influence. The crimson glow became a symbol of transformation a reminder that even the darkest of places could find their way back to the light. The legacy of Blood Moon Manor extended beyond the town's borders, drawing visitors from far and wide who sought not just a thrill, 
but an understanding of the transformative power of facing one's deepest fears. A foundation was established in the town, named after Sarah and Professor Thornton, dedicated to researching and documenting paranormal phenomena while promoting responsible investigation practices. It became a hub for scholars, researchers, and those curious about the supernatural to gather and learn from the lessons of Blood Moon Manor, the town also embraced its role as a guardian of the manor's history. The local museum curated a special exhibit that chronicled the manor's dark past and its journey to redemption. It served as a place of reflection and education, ensuring that future generations would remember the trials and triumphs that had unfolded within those decaying walls, Sarah and Professor Thornton continued to work tirelessly, sharing their knowledge and experiences with those who sought answers in the realm of the unknown. They became mentors to a new generation of paranormal investigators, instilling in them the importance of empathy, caution, and respect when dealing with the supernatural. As for Blood Moon Manor itself, it stood as a timeless testament to the enduring human spirit. The building slowly succumbed to the ravages of time, returning to the earth from which it had risen centuries ago. Its time-worn walls and crumbling structure became a poignant symbol of the impermanence of all things. On occasion, those who still sought a connection to the manor's history and its lessons would venture into the woods where the once menacing mansion had stood. They would find remnants of its foundation and overgrown pathways, reminding them of the darkness that had been banished and the enduring light that had replaced it, the blood moon, which had once been a harbinger of dread, became a symbol of change and renewal. Each appearance served as a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there was the potential for transformation and the possibility of emerging from the depths of fear into the embrace of hope that I and the years that followed, the town and Blood Moon Manor became synonymous with resilience and renewal. The lessons learned from their shared history served as a source of strength and wisdom, shaping the character of the community and its people, the foundation established by Sarah and Professor Thornton thrived, becoming a global center for the study of the paranormal. It attracted individuals from various walks of life, fostering a sense of camaraderie among those who sought to explore the unexplained, researchers, investigators, and spiritual seekers convened to share knowledge and experience, perpetuating the legacy of Blood Moon Manor as a place of both darkness and transformation. The town itself evolved into a hub of understanding and acceptance, embracing the unusual and the supernatural with an open heart. Visitors arrived year-round, not just to chase thrills, but to engage in thoughtful discussions about the mysteries of the universe. The local community welcomed them, sharing their own stories and offering guidance on navigating the realm of the unknown. The memorial in the town square, bearing the names of those who had vanished into the depths of Blood Moon Manor, remained a solemn reminder of the sacrifices made in the pursuit of understanding. It served as a place of contemplation, where visitors paid their respects and reflected on the importance of compassion and caution when dealing with the mysteries of the otherworldly, Sarah and Professor Thornton, now revered figures in the field of paranormal research, continued their work well into their golden years. They became living legends, their names synonymous with courage and wisdom, and their guidance was sought by individuals from every corner of the globe, the story of Blood Moon Manor transcended generations, becoming a timeless narrative of transformation, resilience, and the enduring human spirit. It was a reminder that even in the face of the most profound darkness, redemption was possible, and that the pursuit of knowledge, tempered with empathy and humility, could lead to the most extraordinary revelations that A.S. the town and Blood Moon Manor continue to flourish as centers of paranormal research and enlightenment, an annual event became a cherished tradition. Each year, on the anniversary of the manor's redemption, a festival of remembrance and enlightenment was held. People from all walks of life congregated to celebrate the triumph of the human spirit over darkness, the festival was a testament to the town's transformation, 
featuring lectures, seminars, and discussions on the paranormal, spirituality, and the enduring lessons of Blood Moon Manor. It wasn't just a local gathering, it had grown to become an international attraction, drawing attendees and scholars from around the world. Point one of the festival's highlights was the candlelit vigil held at the site where Blood Moon Manor once stood. Participants gathered under the Blood Moon's glow to pay homage to the souls lost within its walls and to honor the courage of those who had ventured into the unknown. It was a solemn yet uplifting event that symbolized the town's commitment to embracing the past and forging a brighter future, the town had also established a scholarship program in memory of those who had vanished in the manor. It provided financial support to promising young researchers and investigators who were committed to studying the paranormal responsibly and ethically. The program aimed to ensure that the lessons of Blood Moon Manor were passed on to the next generation, encouraging them to explore the unknown with both caution and compassion. Sarah and Professor Thornton, though aging, remained active and dedicated to mentoring the new wave of paranormal enthusiasts. They continued to share their knowledge, providing guidance and support to those who embarked on their own journeys into the supernatural. As the years passed, Blood Moon Manor's story became more than just a local legend or a tale of redemption, it became a global symbol of hope and transformation. People from all walks of life found inspiration in its narrative, reminding them that even in the darkest of circumstances, there was the potential for renewal and enlightenment. As the Festival of Remembrance and Enlightenment reached its zenith on one fateful year, an unexpected event occurred that would add a new layer of intrigue to the legacy of Blood Moon Manor during the candlelit vigil beneath the Blood Moon. As participants paid their respects and shared stories of courage and transformation, an ethereal presence seemed to materialize in the moonlight. It was a faint, yet unmistakable apparition, a figure cloaked in a spectral shroud, the crowd watched in awe and trepidation as the ghostly figure slowly approached the center of the gathering. With each step, it radiated an aura of sadness and remorse. As it reached the heart of the vigil, it raised a translucent hand, revealing an old, weathered journal, the crowd fell silent as the ghostly figure appeared to gesture towards the journal, which seemed to contain the untold history of Blood Moon Manor, a tale that had never been shared before. It beckoned for someone to step forward and accept the journal, as if urging the living to uncover its secrets that a brave and curious scholar, guided by a sense of destiny, approached and took the journal into their hands. The pages of the journal held the writings of the manor's original builder, a tormented soul who had made the dark pact that had cursed the mansion. The journal revealed the builder's deep regret and remorse for the horrors that had unfolded within those walls. The ghostly figure, its form growing more transparent, seemed to find solace in having its story finally heard. As the blood moon reached its zenith, the figure slowly dissipated, leaving behind a profound sense of closure and a newfound understanding of the manor's history, the journal was meticulously studied by scholars and historians, shedding light on the origins of the curse and the tragic choices made by those who had once inhabited Blood Moon Manor. It added depth to the manor's narrative, emphasizing the importance of redemption and forgiveness in the face of dark deeds, the town, now even more connected to its haunted past, embraced the journal's revelation as an opportunity for healing and growth. It reinforced the message that the pursuit of knowledge, empathy, and the acknowledgement of one's past could lead to profound transformation. With the discovery of the haunted journal, Blood Moon Manor's legacy took on an even deeper significance. The town saw it as an opportunity to bridge the gap between the living and the departed, as well as a chance for reconciliation with the past that a group of townsfolk and scholars embarked on a mission to communicate with the spirits that had long haunted the manor. Armed with knowledge from the journal and guided by the town's newfound wisdom, they conducted a series of carefully planned rituals, seeking not just to contact the spirits, 
but to offer them understanding and forgiveness. As the blood moon rose once more, casting its crimson glow upon the town, the group ventured into the woods near where the manor had stood. They assembled around the site where the ghostly figure had appeared during the vigil, and with the journal as their guide, they began their solemn ceremony, for hours, they chanted incantations, offered prayers, and shared heartfelt words of compassion. Slowly but surely, the ethereal presence that had materialized during the previous year's vigil began to manifest once again, the ghostly figure, bearing the same aura of sadness and remorse, stepped forward. But this time, it was not alone. Other spectral forms, representing the tormented souls of the manor's past inhabitants, gathered around that I end this ethereal gathering, a dialogue unfolded, a conversation that transcended the boundaries of life and death. The living expressed their understanding and forgiveness, acknowledging the weight of the choices made by the spirits in life. The spirits, in turn, conveyed their remorse and longing for redemption. As the blood moon reached its zenith, a profound transformation took place. The spirits, bathed in the moon's eerie light, began to slowly dissipate. It was as if the forgiveness and understanding offered by the living had unlocked the chains that bound them to the earthly realm that I in their place, a sense of peace descended upon the woods, and the very air seemed to breathe with relief, the manor's curse, once dark and vengeful, had finally been broken. The town, having reconciled with its haunted past, embraced a new era of unity and healing. Blood Moon Manor's legacy became not just a story of redemption but a living testament to the power of forgiveness and compassion, a reminder that even the most grievous of sins could find absolution when met with understanding and empathy. The town's transformation into a symbol of reconciliation and renewal drew people from all walks of life. Visitors came in not only to explore the mysteries of Blood Moon Manor but also to experience the profound sense of unity and understanding that had blossomed there, the annual festival of remembrance and enlightenment evolved into a global gathering, attracting individuals from across the globe who sought to witness the power of forgiveness firsthand. Scholars, spiritual leaders, and even skeptics converged in the town, each hoping to partake in the transformative energy that had taken root, throughout the years, the town itself had undergone a metamorphosis. It had become a hub of spiritual and cultural exchange, with museums and centers dedicated to promoting forgiveness, reconciliation, and empathy. The lessons learned from Blood Moon Manor's history resonated far beyond the realm of the supernatural, inspiring individuals and communities to heal long-standing wounds and seek common ground. The scholarship program established in memory of those who had vanished within the manor had expanded, supporting not only those studying the paranormal but also those pursuing disciplines related to forgiveness, conflict resolution, and understanding between differing perspectives. The program's graduates went on to make significant contributions to peace and unity worldwide. Sarah and Professor Thornton, in their twilight years, had witnessed their life's work turn into a movement for compassion and reconciliation. Their teachings continued to shape generations of investigators and scholars who approached the mysteries of the supernatural with a deep sense of responsibility and empathy. The legacy of Blood Moon Manor, once a tale of terror, had become an enduring source of hope and inspiration. It had transcended the boundaries of folklore to become a living example of the transformative power of forgiveness, reminding humanity that even the darkest of pasts could be illuminated by the light of understanding and compassion. As the town thrived and the Blood Moon continued its celestial dance. Blood Moon Manor stood as a testament to the enduring potential for redemption in us all. As the decades rolled by, Blood Moon Manor's legacy continued to resonate across the world, becoming a beacon of hope in an often tumultuous and divided time. The town itself had evolved into a living example of how understanding and compassion could heal the deepest wounds of the past, 
the annual festival in honor of Blood Moon Manor had grown into a global event, attracting not only scholars and enthusiasts but also world leaders and peace advocates. It had become a platform for discussing and implementing strategies for reconciliation and conflict resolution on a larger scale, the town's commitment to forgiveness extended beyond its borders. It initiated cultural exchanges, bringing together communities that had been torn apart by historic conflicts. These exchanges facilitated dialogue, fostered mutual understanding, and laid the groundwork for the resolution of long-standing disputes, the scholarship program continued to thrive, producing generations of diplomats, mediators, and scholars who dedicated their lives to promoting peace and understanding. They carried with them the spirit of Blood Moon Manor, reminding the world that even the most entrenched conflicts could find resolution when approached with empathy and a commitment to reconciliation, Sarah and Professor Thornton, in their twilight years, remained steadfast in their mission. They had become revered figures not only in the realm of the paranormal but also in the fields of peacebuilding and conflict resolution. Their wisdom was sought by governments and organizations around the world, and their life's work was celebrated as a testament to the enduring capacity of the human spirit for transformation, Blood Moon Manor, which had once been a place of terror, now stood as a symbol of humanity's potential for redemption and unity. Its story served as a powerful reminder that, no matter how deeply rooted the divisions or how dark the past, the path to healing and reconciliation was always within reach. As the blood moon continued to wax and wane over the town, it cast its ethereal light upon a world that yearned for understanding and harmony. Blood Moon Manor's legacy, a living testament to the triumph of compassion over darkness, had become an eternal source of inspiration, guiding humanity toward a future where forgiveness and reconciliation were not just dreams but realities embraced by all. Friends, how did you like the story? Don't forget to write in the comments, like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you tomorrow with another new interesting story. Thank you.